We sailors are a special breed of people. We usually don't have a lot of space in our boat and we are pretty picky of what kind of stuff can come aboard. Merry Christmas, honey. I said I wanted friendly socks! So if you want to know what a useful sailor skip looks like, then keep watching. A good coffee maker. I am incredibly picky about coffee and I know that you are too because you are just like me. On a small boat there is little space for a big machine and also maybe no electricity for it. But that does not mean you have to drink coffee like a German. Pull up the mooring ball! Hard winch one! Move the driver! Hoist the driver! Reef the driver! Can you make me a new coffee? Please! If you don't want to drink hot sand, then this is a really nice way of doing it. Depending on how much you like your friends, there's a variety of quality you can choose from. Low-end mocha machines that ooze out heavy metals when using them can be found in the dollar store. But if you remotely like the person you're gifting this, then I'd recommend a Bialetti. It's stainless, it works on gas and induction, and it does not poison your loved ones. Easy! Water! Of course, you'll find the links in the description. Personal Satellite Tracker This is just a really long commercial. Mandy! Yeah? How do I unsubscribe from this? This is a satellite tracker and text messenger. It has an SOS function and provides basic weather forecasts. You can text and email through the Iridium network and share, share your location, location on the map. On a Share your location on a map. It has six buttons, one on the top, two on each side, plus the SOS one. So instead of fiddling with those to write a text message, you can use the accompanying app and it basically feels like iMessage or WhatsApp. Eggplant, eggplant, peach emoji. It competes with the three times more expensive Iridium Go and basically does the same thing. With one exception. The Iridium Go can receive predict wind weather grip file updates, which the inReach doesn't. We get the inReach for the Atlantic crossing, which is a low risk passage with steady trade winds, so we figured we don't need high detailed grip file type forecasts, but we can rely on someone writing us a text once in a while. Extreme gale force weather coming in a few days. Back home here in Holland. Hope you have a good time. So how's the weather on the Atlantic? Eggplant, eggplant, avocado, storm emoji. The competitor Iridium Go uses disposable SIM cards, which you'd have to buy beforehand. This one doesn't. You just activate it on the website and you can deactivate it on the website as well for the time that you're not crossing oceans. So all things considered, the inReach seemed like the better option for us because it was cheaper and that's it. It was cheaper. And it works fine. Maybe it's the better choice for you too, but consider all options. It's about 300 bucks. A lithium vacuum cleaner. What? In our last gadget video, we mentioned these mop slippers. Beat mop slippers. And we have indeed been using them. But they are mostly handy if you want to mop up like hair and dust, crummies, not so much. Sand, forget it. Cleaning the bilge? Ain't gonna happen. Instead of grabbing that super cheap vacuum cleaner again, I did my research and looked for a small but very powerful device that has an interchangeable battery. Preferably one that could use the same one as our drill or our angle grinder. But unfortunately, the brand of our drill does not sell any vacuum cleaners anymore. So instead, after many hours of research and careful consideration, I decided to go with Bosch. Bosch. <laughs> This thing has power, like really. So far, I haven't found anything yet. It's not able to suck up. Also, 
it comes with quite a lot of pieces. So, you know, if you put this together, you can pretend to actually vacuum like a normal person. You also have this piece so you can get into small corners or for example the bilge and also there is this little fella i don't know sometimes comes in handy further it is super small and compact easy to empty out because you can just open this one take out the filters too which i might have to do right now and uh, it comes with a rechargeable battery that you can just take out. I got the two and a half amp hour battery because it will give me about 45 minutes of vacuum power. And that is all I need because we have a small boat. If you have a bigger boat and you need more than 45 minutes to vacuum the entire boat, you might actually not care because you probably have people vacuum for you. But in case you do want to vacuum your own boat and take longer than 45 minutes, they also come with like a four and a five amp hour battery, which is of course a lot more expensive, but apparently it also comes with way stronger suction power. I haven't tried it, so I can't really vouch for that, but you know, just throwing it in there. Maybe it's important. Another reason I chose this specific device, it's because it's Bosch and let's face it, it's German and German quality rarely disappoints. I mean, look at this guy over here, 31 years old, still going strong, very handsome, never disappoints, well, rarely. All right, so let's talk price. The device itself was 55 euros. The more expensive part is actually the battery, including the charger. The battery itself was 50 euros, which is almost as much as the whole thing. And the charger was about 20. If you buy the whole package, that will be 55, 50 and 20 makes 125 euros. And this might sound a little pricey for a small vacuum cleaner, but with the quality being that good, I am sure that it will last us many, many, many years. I have to say it's been worth every penny and I haven't regretted for a day. It's also really good at neutralizing cockroaches, especially the really big ones. All you have to do is reverse the polarity on the ion accelerator Activated. and redirect all the power to the pulse drive. And then you should be able to This thing has been a real lifesaver. Anywho, if you're not into Bosch or you're not ready to invest in a new brand, then maybe have a look if your current tool brand sells some vacuum cleaners. Many of the bigger brands actually sell vacuum cleaners that are compatible with their batteries. Not unimportant though, is that this battery cannot be charged with USB. So you do need 220 volts. And if you're not in a marina, this could be a problem, but since it is only two and a half amps and it doesn't take that much time to charge, you can just use a very cheap inverter and it won't drain your battery bank. Or if you don't want to use an inverter, you can also use a portable battery bank. This is a portable lithium battery bank with an integrated inverter. A very awesome and useful add-on to our standard battery bank. We can charge all kinds of devices on the front using the USB and with the USB-C also our laptops at 60 watts. On the back you'll find sockets for your AC household devices. It powers anything up to 2000 watts. We mainly use it to power our induction plate when we are on anchor and are not connected to shore power. It saves us dragging bottles of gas around and also not unimportant, cooking with induction creates less heat. So the inside of the boat doesn't get as hot when it's 30 degrees outside. Using shore power, the Delta recharges 80% in about one hour. And if we stay off grid and we want to recharge it, we can also use our 12 volt and that takes about 10 hours. A reason we love this device is that it gives us access to lithium power without the time and money involved in upgrading our boat system. It is simply a plug and play lithium solution. If you're intrigued and want to know more details about it, we made a special video. So check that out. It's also linked in the description below. An electric lighter, but different. This one over here is a very cool, nice to have gadget. It's an electric lighter. I had never heard of such a thing, which might mean I am getting really old because nowadays technology is advancing so fast, I cannot even keep up with lighter technology. But this is not your regular run of the mill caveman lighter. It is more like a Tesla coil, which is from 1891. 
Instead of a flame, it generates a small but very powerful electric current, look at that, with which you can light a candle, for example. Or, in case you don't have the echo flow, to power your energy-hungry induction cooking plate and you are still playing it old school, you can also use it to ignite those caveman flames on your stove. And also, it will not go off in wind, which, you know, could always come in handy. The cool thing is mainly that it doesn't require any gas, but you can charge it per USB. No more hassling around with a bottle of lighter fluids, which can, let's be honest, go very wrong. I once saw my dad burn off his eyebrows, which was mostly very hilarious, but it could have ended way worse than that. This nifty little device won't burn your eyebrows off, but it might just electrocute your kids, so keep it away from them. We have been using it for a couple of months now, and we've only had to charge it once. Also, it only costs $14.99, so there's not a whole lot you can do wrong here. Just think about it. I can see you are intrigued. You think you might love it, don't you? What did I say about fire in the boat? LED candles. Let us just stay with electricity a little bit longer, because now that you purchased your electric lighter, you might be thinking open fire on a boat is a disaster waiting to happen. And yes, yes it is. Smart thinking. But if you still want to have that responsible and romantic dinner with your loved one, then we have a pleasant surprise for you, because technology has come up with a solution here too. The LED candle. What can I say? It is an LED candle, so you cannot burn down yourself or the boat. It is rechargeable, so you can use it more than once. It is pretty cute, and I think it speaks pretty much for itself here. Be smart though, get one that is rechargeable per USB. I was not that smart and ended up with a 220 volt charger, and it even said on the box that I could have ordered one with a USB charger. I can't even. Let's just move on, okay? You can find the link to the USB one in the description down below. More lights we like. By now, it must be obvious that we love light. All right, this is not really working. Let's fix this. Last year, floating lights were all the rage. Now, LED lights are the sh But wait, there's more. But now we also found these LED rechargeable lights at Decathlon. They are pretty cool. First of all, you have this little hook over here that you can use to either hang on the boom or maybe on the bimini if you got that Velcro tape we recommended last year. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's the most romantic thing I've ever got. You turn them on by simply turning the light itself. And the cool thing is that the first turn gives you a red light. The second turn gives you a white light and the third turn gives you an even brighter white light. If you then turn it off, you get three little dots over here or four, depending on how full your battery is. And if your battery is empty, you can just simply recharge it down here per USB. There's further, not really much to it. I mean, it's a light. It works outside, it works inside. It's pretty cool. Just check out the camping section in Decathlon. They have some really cool stuff. You will find the link in the description down below. A speedy stitcher Catch. and splicing needles. If you watch our videos, you came across the Speedy Stitcher already. This is like a little sewing machine. It works just like it, but it doesn't need much space or electricity. And you can use it to fix sails or fix the end of your lines using whipping twine. It is pretty awesome and I would love to have this as a gift. Fids are long needles for splicing Dyneema or any other kind of line. What you can do with it is you can make Dyneema loops. Put that needle into your Dyneema cord, like that. You splice it through, and then you can basically make loops and all that kind of stuff. There's lots of interesting things you can do with it, also useful ones. I'm gonna show you one right now. We used it to make loops with little clippy things to clip things on. One is the anchor locker that we hold in place with that, and it doesn't look great there's probably a more official way of doing it, but it works and it was a lot of fun doing that. The other one is the swimming ladder, which didn't have a nice way of keeping it in place. And if you drag yourself up there and it's not attached firmly, then you might get a heart attack and hit your head with it. So we made a little loop for that as well and clip it in the push bit. So that's another way of making use of 
that stuff. Great, moving on. The ones we have are the ones from Selma. They come in a set of four or more, depending on which set you buy. We like them, but we also haven't tried others. So you will like them too. They're nice. A USB charger, but a strong one. One thing that really changed our lives this year was, it sounds so dramatic, was this. These are 12 volt car chargers and they include a USB fast charge and USB-C. And that one actually does 30 watts, which is half of what the regular charger does. And it is enough to keep charging while we are still using it on Final Cut, which is our editing suite and takes lots of energy. The great thing about it is that when you charge your computers with this, you do not have to transform or invert your energy from your house banks to AC to only charge a charging adapter that converts it down to a DC charging current. I talk about this in lengths in the other video about energy management. It is also linked in the description. You see, we really want you to watch more of our videos. We need the watch time. So as long as you have a laptop or a phone that charges with USB-C, these are really useful. I think also another sailing channel recommended it, but these are better. Take those. If you found any of these gifts useful and now you feel like giving us a gift for Christmas this year. Happy holidays. Oh, thank you. Then consider becoming our patron or filling up our tip jar so we can keep on giving the gift of entertainment in 2021. Or you can check out our shop, of course, where we sell some pretty cool stuff like this t-shirt or that booklet I made. Ah!